Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here. Uh, the folks at Soviku sent me this PTZ smart camera to review. I don't do uh, paid promotions, but I will review products when people ask me to. And so this is a smart camera. There's, as you know, crime's going up everywhere. And there are so many new people moving into our area. Um, and I just think it's time to get a security camera. So I was happy to review this. Here's the user manual. I would imagine I'm going to have to download an app here. But uh, let's see what we've got here. Looks like uh, mounting screws. A mounting bracket of some sort. The camera itself. And the USB to 120. I don't know how long the cord is. I don't have a lot of outdoor uh, outlets. So this is going to limit where I can put this. Oh, it's a good long cord though. Cute little thing. All right. I'm going to step away here and read the directions and see what's going on. Uh, here's what I was looking for. The uh, place to start. A little QR code here. And I'll focus on that and set up my app and then come back to you. So as soon as I plugged it in over there, I'm filming this with my iPad now so you can see this. I started hearing this sound. I already have this app on my phone. So right here is a plus button. I want to add a new device. I heard the sound. So the next step looks like this is the device I want to add. So the name of my network is Satchwell. I'm not going to show you my password. So I put in my password. It wants me to join. So got it. I'm going to join. So it's looking for a hotspot. New device was found. And there it is. It looks like it should be working any second now. Uh, I'm going to put this at the back door. Uh, actually, I'm going to put this, uh, yeah, we'll say back door. Got a good signal. Next, mounting note, finish. And there it is. And that's me, looking at me. So this thing's ready to mount. I'm gonna mount this here on the side of my upper deck. A quick little pilot hole. Mounting is pretty straightforward. It's just one small clip you have to put on here. Easy peasy. camera down here clip on like that and we already have a motion light here and one in the front but this is added Put the antennas out there and let's see if I can get it to work here now that you're recording I'll go over here uh, let's go to the settings real quick. I'll, we'll go home here. 
go to the settings, notification settings. I've got it set on for about everybody, pet and others. Motion, I'm going to put high. Detection, duration, I'm going to put one minute. Uh, 10 seconds is the lowest, so you, that's between uh, tracking here. I'm not going to let it go to sleep. Uh, alarm settings, I'm not going to put that on. We've got the light, and I don't want it coming on every time I go in and out of the basement. I might turn it on at night. The video settings, I, uh, I'm going to turn on anti-flicker. I've got it at SD. I'm not sure what's more important is SD or 2K, but I've got it SD. I've got it in color mode, and light sensitivity level is medium. We have that light that's going to come on in the, at night. So if I go back here and, whoops, go back here and go to the home page, I should be able to connect. I can hear it connecting. And there it is. So once I tap on this, I have some things over here I can move the camera. It says be mindful of your Wi Fi. I can also do a live recording. So it should be recording me live right now. I can turn that off. Anyway, that's how the settings work. Uh, it actually worked better when I was uh, in the kitchen than it does out here because there's a better Wi-Fi signal. One do a couple of clarifications. I see here that I have a new notification by the envelope there. Well, that's me going out to do chores this morning. I also have another notification of me coming back in from doing chores this morning. At the top, you'll see a calendar. If you click on the 24th, which was yesterday, you can see that I went out last night and checked it to make sure it was working. That's me coming in. And then uh, let's go to settings. I want to make sure this is clear. If you want to change the settings for the duration of the video, it, it all, comes set at 10 seconds, but I want it to set for 20 seconds. So you just click that, and all of a sudden it becomes 20 seconds. The interval between the tracking, I think I want it to be a minimum. I think that's what that means for a minute. And I'm loving this thing. Uh, I'll give it two thumbs up. I'm going to get one that has a solar panel so I can put it at the backyard where I don't have a outlet. This is great.